What's up guys? Today, I've got a video that I have dubbed Incognito Mode version 2. Now this is going to be based around Twitch and YouTube streamers or people that record their gameplay or even just stream to their PC with NTR viewer. Now the whole point of this is going to be to be replacing all of your CIAs that you use with homebrew versions that you can mask using the Rosalina menu. And now that version 8.1 of Luma is out, Rosalina allows us to save our homebrew CIA injection so we can permanently inject our homebrew app into Nintendo 3DS Sound or something of the sort. And then we'll be able to run most of the CIAs that we used to run as 3DS X files, such as Themely or FBI. Now, what we are going to be doing is replacing our health and safety app with boot NTR selector and this is going to allow streamers to just run the health and safety app to load up boot NTR selector. Now I have heard talks and I think I did see a file that someone had compiled themselves for boot NTR selector to be a 3dsx file and the reason I'm going to be using the CIA version and injecting it into the health and safety app is to just save us an extra step because a lot of times you have to launch boot NTR selector multiple times when you're trying to get your stream going and if you every time you turned off your system you had to launch homebrew launcher and then launch it it would just be one extra step so we're going to permanently inject it into the health and safety app and i'm also going to give you a couple other cias that aren't available as 3dsx files yet in case you wanted to inject those and use them without being in incognito mode all right that was a big mouthful <laughs> let's get started Go ahead and open up the root of your SD card on your computer either through micro SD management or you can insert it physically into your computer and go down to the description and grab incognito v2.zip. Now we're going to right click this, use 7-zip and extract it to here and this is going to give us a CIA's folder and a 3DS folder. I'm going to go ahead and delete the zip. Now inside the CIA's folder we have a boot NTR selector, input redirection, as well as PKSM. Now just in case you wanted to inject these into your health and safety app, such as if you were a streamer and you use boot NTR a lot, you'd probably want to have your health and safety app as boot NTR all the time, and then you don't have to worry about going into incognito mode when you want to play legit games that you actually own and you want to stream them to YouTube or Twitch. All you'll have to do is click the health and safety app, it'll run boot NTR selector, and you'll be ready to stream. If you want to use your controller, you can just use the Rosalina's input redirection, and then you don't have to worry about running input proc CIA, and then you're perfectly hidden. And if we go back and check out the 3DS folder, inside of here is a 3DSX version of Themely, Cache Tool, FBI, and JKSM. And this JKSM is identical to the CIA version. So using Rosalina's homebrew masking feature, if you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link in the description, although I am about to show you how to do it. But basically, we can hide most of the apps that you would use in CIA form, mostly CIA. Um, I mean, mostly FBI to install CIAs, and we can hide that in the homebrew, under the homebrew launcher, which is going to be hidden underneath a legit Nintendo app. So that'll basically leave us free to run normal games, and everything else will be hidden without using incognito mode version 1. So I'm going to take this 3DS and CIAs folder, drag it over to the root of my SD card, and it should merge them with my 3DS and my CIA's folder that's already there. If you don't have a CIA's folder, then this will just create one for you. Now that all of our homebrew titles are moved over to our SD card, either safely eject your SD card or close micro SD management, and I'll meet you guys down on the 3DS and show you how to implement this. On the 3DS, I want you to hold the start button and then press power. Now this is going to boot you into God Mode 9 or Luma Chain Loader. Takes you into Luma Chain Loader, load up God Mode 9. So while you're here, the first thing you want to do is press the home button and see if you have anything injected into the health and safety app. So go down to more 
and then you should see restore H and S. If you don't see restore H and S, then your home and safety health and safety app is probably fine. So go ahead and hit restore if you want to restore it and go ahead and hit yes. Unlock this. And now go ahead and hit R and Y at the same time. That'll relock everything. Hit A on SD card and you want to navigate to your CIAs. Go ahead and open them up and now you're going to see your CIAs. Go ahead and pick the one you want. So I'm going to be using boot NTR selector. I'm going to hit A on it. I'm going to click A on CIA image options. And now this is going to give me the ability to mount the image to my drive. So I'm going to mount image to drive. It's going to take me to this screen. And on the top, you're going to see one file that ends in .app. You're going to hit A on that. And then on the bottom screen, you're going to see NCCH image options. You're going to hit A on that. And now it's going to give you the option at the bottom to inject to the health and safety. So you're going to hit A and hit A again. And the health and safety inject was successful. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A now. Now we can go ahead and just press start to reboot the system. Now that your 3DS has loaded back up, what we need to do is inject the homebrew launcher into a title. So go ahead and pick the title you're going to be using. I'm going to be using Nintendo 3DS Sound. So I'm going to open it up. Now what you need to do is load up your Rosalina menu. Now I've changed my button configuration, so I need to press X and B at the same time. Load up my Rosalina menu. Go down to miscellaneous options. And here you want to switch homebrew title with the current app. So go ahead and switch the homebrew title with the current app. Operation successful. Go ahead and hit B and now hit B again. And now go ahead and exit the app. Now if you open up Nintendo 3DS Sound again, it should be the homebrew launcher. Now go ahead and load up your Rosalina menu one more time. And go back to miscellaneous options. And this time you want to save settings. So I'm going to save the settings. And now my homebrew launcher is permanently in Nintendo 3DS sound. So in here you can use cache tool to delete everything that you maybe have used if you weren't using incognito mode. And then in here we also have FBI. So what we need to do now is uninstall a few things from our home menu. So I'm going to launch FBI. Now that FBI is loaded, we're going to scroll down to titles and hit A. Now once all your titles have loaded up, what you need to do is uninstall Themely. I'm going to go ahead and delete the title and the ticket. I'm going to delete PKSM. Now I'm also going to delete JK's Save Manager. as well as FBI. And boot NTR selector. If you happen to have cache tool installed, you could delete it as well. Go ahead and press B and then hit start to exit. So I'm back here on my home menu. You can see it's fairly CIA free. And now I have my NTR custom firmware hidden under the health and safety app ready to go anytime I want to stream. And my Nintendo 3DS sound is now sound hacks. All I have to do is open it up and we can launch FBI or Themely or anything we want to use from in here. We can open up cache tool and delete anything that may be points to, uh, a finger at us for using homebrew as well and this is all hidden underneath the Nintendo 3DS sound app and here's JKSM 
Now this isn't the old JKS M3DSX file. This is actually one that acts identical to the CIA. And one last thing, I just want to give a big shout out to Pillows2 for making these icons. I borrowed these from his play kit. I'm going to put a link to his play kit down in the description. It actually inspired me to make this video. So thank you very much to him. And if you wanted to download his play kit, all you have to do is drag and drop it into the root of your SD card. It's got some pretty cool stuff in it. So I will catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed Incognito Mode version 2, and I hope you're now streaming safely to Twitch and YouTube without Nintendo breathing down your back. Catch you guys next time. Peace.